All right, we've made it to the final mission of Area 51, Escape. Now, skipping the cutscene is not important here, but we do need to move very fast at the start because we start this mission in a room full of nerve gas. And while I do not consider the nerve gas a hit, if we want damage lists, and I do, we need to move very quickly to avoid a tiny tick of damage from the gas. And that's a little harder to do than it sounds because we have to push Elvis' hover trolley as we go, and it's entirely too easy to get that stuck on doors or obstacles as we straight. The good news is I found that with a bit of practice, this can be done consistently, but you are going to want to practice this movement a little bit. And it's further complicated by the fact that the gas is not entirely time-based. I found that if Joanna stands still, you will see a tick of damage from the gas every 8 seconds or so, but if you keep moving, you might not see that first tick until 12 or even the 14 second mark. So it's a little unpredictable, but again, with a bit of practice, we should be able to get out of here safely. So here we go. We're going to start by heading straight on, head on through the door. You want to go kind of perfectly straight through this and then start your straightening. But don't get Elvis cut, caught on these obstacles on the sides. Okay, once you get out the door, you're fine. We got two enemies over here. You can shoot the first one. The second one just doesn't aggro for some reason, so you can kind of just pick him off. Then now we get Elvis to safety. We need to get Elvis to this point down here by the 36 second mark if we want the remote mines, which we do. But that's very easy to do. We have plenty of time and we weren't even going very fast there. Okay, we're going to be two guys through here. Open the door from the side so you can fight them one at a time. Good. Those two enemies, those two enemies kind of patrol a bit so they won't always be in exactly the same spot, but you shouldn't usually have much trouble with them. In this next section, we've got three enemies with super dragons. So we're going to step out, but I'm not going to shoot. I'm just going to let them see me and fall back. That should aggro only two of them, not all three. It makes it a little bit easier. Step out, be seen, head back to the top of this ramp, get some cover. And now we're just going to unload on them with the Falcon 2 when they show up. Because these enemies have armor, which makes them a bit dangerous. Okay. Good news is they do tend to derp on this ramp a little bit, so you can kind of shoot the gun out of their hands, pick them off. And we don't need the Falcon 2 ammo at all anymore after this, so don't don't be precious with it. But now we get a Super Dragon, and the Super Dragon comes over with a grenade launcher, and that's really good. There we go. Second one derped out a little bit, the third one hides around this corner. But anyway, that's good. That's done. Gonna kill a few enemies out on this walkway with grenades. Grenades are great. Grenades are going to carry most of this mission. There we go. I'm gonna drop a mine over here. Enemies will spawn here later, and this mine should help help us out. I'm going to carefully blow up this glass for the objective, and then just let the grenades carry. They are very good. You just kind of need to be careful not to blow yourself up. That's really the only danger at this point. Just be careful with those grenades. Okay. Grenade. Grenade. Oh, and by the way, grenades are pretty good. Yep. All right, with those three down, I'm going to come back here to this spot in front of this door and drop another mine. If we time it right, that mine is going to kill a lot of enemies for us. More on that in a bit. We have to talk to Jonathan first. Joanna, over here. Hello. After a second mine, you're going to spawn over there. Take them out and then switch to your mines and run back. Detonate the mine right about here. So what just happened? You get about four enemies spawning here and they'll attack you at once normally. However, there's also a brief moment where every other enemy that's going to appear here loads in all at once. So if you time that explosion just right, you can take out all of them. That's a lot of kills, that's a lot of ammo for us, and it also means we're not going to have to worry about as many enemies later. Very helpful. Alright, now we're going to kind of babysit Jonathan through these doors. He tends to drip out if you beat him to his own devices. Come on. Come on, Jonathan. There we go. Okay. An enemy spawns around this next corner after you talk to Jonathan, so not to grenade off the wall at him. And keep going. Come on, Jonathan. Good. That's fine. 
Four enemies spawn over here, but the mi our mine should have blown them up already. I'm gonna count the grenades guns anyway, just to be sure. Yep, four. Right when near. Cover me, Joe. Okay. Covering Jonathan means sit me in front of this door, keep it, hold it open, and just spamming grenades at however many enemies show up over here. And this is pretty random. I've had runs where I've seen like three enemies total spawn during this part, and I've had runs where I've gotten like 12 to 15. It's there's a lot of variability here, but it doesn't really matter how many enemies show up because we have more grenades than we know what to do with. So we're just gonna keep shooting grenades until they stop spawning. Now we're going to wait for a lull in the action, and it looks like we might have one now. I don't see any more enemies coming. Good. Okay. And now I'm going to shoot a preemptive grenade over here. Enemies will spawn over in this corner when I go into the next room. So hopefully my preemptive grenade will stop them. But I'm going to go over and shoot this guy. And then I'm going to go back. Yep. We're shooting a Donovan. Clear that out. And now we're just going to kind of hold here for a bit. Shoot grenades. And wait until we get a lull in the action again. Because there's probably going to be some enemies coming through here. In the very near future. Yep. Alright. And I feel like... We're mostly clear, which might be now. I'm going to run out and clear the rest of this room. Use bullets for this, not grenades, because I cannot afford to blow up that terminal over there. I'm going to kill him. Oh, I see one more. Whoa, Jonathan. Don't, don't shoot Jonathan. That's an easy way to fail the mission. But now we're going to sit here until we feel like we have another lull in the action, which might be right now. Yeah, I think we're, I think we're okay. Gonna drop a mine up here above the door. This might save our life later. Then I'm gonna head downstairs and apply the med pack. When you apply the med pack, four enemies will spawn. They could, and it's, it varies. There'll be four total, but they could all appear upstairs. They could all appear down here on this ramp, or they could be split two and two, three and one. Who knows? It, it varies. I'm going to use bullets because grenades are a bit risky on ramps. And I'm going to clear out whoever shows up down here. So we got two here this time, and we did not trigger the thing. Okay, a specific one of the four enemies that spawns will trigger the bed pack to finish. If that doesn't work out, like it didn't work this time, then you can either just wait here and eventually the med pack will finish, or you can go try and hunt him down, help Jonathan out. But we kind of want Jonathan to be out here to hold them at the top of this ramp. Good. Jonathan's downstairs, which means he's safe, but they saw Jonathan, which means they stopped when they entered the room. This is what we put the remote mine up there for. It can clear out that top area for us without us having to expose ourselves. Though it looks like they came down just in one time, that's unfortunate. That's okay, Jonathan's a good meat shield. Yeah, that mine can save your life if you complete this objective, and then Jonathan teleports down here with Elvis. But the enemies might still be upstairs, and they can ambush you as you're coming out here. It can be very, very tough to survive if there are multiple enemies upstairs right now. Because they have the high ground, it's very hard to get... You have no cover, it's very hard to get out of here if they're waiting at the top. So that mine could save your life. And we're going to let Jonathan lead. He will take for us if there's anything going on. But now we should be in good shape. We're going to sit through a cutscene. Oh, no, There's a chance that some enemies will spawn, will show up and appear over here during the cutscene. It's rare, but it can happen. So we're just going to sh sit and wait, shoot any that show up. Once Jonathan starts to move, we're going to follow him and protect him. But do not get too close to him until the music starts. Because then Joanna can talk to him and then trigger a completely different section mission, which is much more difficult. So stay back from Jonathan here. Just kind of follow him from a distance. Once he gets to the top of the ramp, the music will start, and enemies will start to show up. We switch to the grenade launcher. And just kind of pulse grenades in here for a bit. 
kill any enemies that show up. And then run. That should buy us enough time. You can't sit there forever, because enemies will also show up from below. That can happen, and you don't want to get blindsided. So just shoot a couple grenades to pick off the first ones that show up at the top. And then we're going to run over here. Jonathan will open up one of the doors. We're going to open up the other. And that's the end of the mission. There we go.